So I caught this uh, carp. This is the largest carp I caught so far. Um, I used my pack bait and um, I got those two uh, treble hooks. I uh, put some uh, bread. Basically, I used a burger bread. And um, yeah, so I chumped the water, dropped it in there, and uh, they were biting. So it was an awesome fight, man, to be honest with you. Um, this guy, uh, when I caught this guy, so when I caught this guy, um, yeah, so it took off like crazy. It was a battle after that. And um, I was uh, trying to hold my fishing pole because it's fighting hard. Like, yeah, it was a tug of war after that. Took me at least about good, maybe um, good 10 minutes because I don't want to lose my um, hook and snap my string. So I just kind of let it tire. Man, I was so stoked. When I caught this dude right here, oh my God, man. When I reeled this in, I got my net. Jeez, it was it. That was it. Crazy. At least about, I'll say about all I can say. Pounds or something. I was amazed. Yeah, I'm so pumped up, man. So kind of give you guys an idea what my setup was um, for the uh, carp. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, that's my... Uh, the hook is pretty much like size, I believe, size 8 or 10. And I bought this one from Amazon. So um, with the pack bait, basically uh, what I was doing is, um, you know, um, bought some jello, um, oatmeal, corn, cornmeal, bread, and I just kind of smash it all in there. And then after about a, a few um, hours, um, it kind of turns solid. And from here, that is uh, my floaters. There goes my floater right there. So once that tip right on the top, just start bobbing down, get yourself ready because it's gonna be action right after that. So simple rig, simple setup for the for the uh, carp. So basically that is where I pack all the uh, pack bait and also uh, a size um, eight or 10, uh, two hooks. Um, you could put bread, corn, or whatever, and they will love that. And uh, yeah, so that's the one that I caught the uh, the big carp so far. Yeah, so that was me when I um, went home holding this carp. You know, it was a trophy. Uh, it's my first PB so far in terms of carp fishing. And you know, that, that feeling of coming home and just hold this fish and just like checking this out. I mean... That was the biggest carp that I've caught so far. So I was stoked, man. And um, I'm so happy about it. So just sharing the video, what it looks like when I got home. Uh, this was um, what we, me uh, right here by the kitchen, holding the fish. So a beautiful look at the texture on that guy. Awesome fish. Uh, this is the uh, spot right here um, by the uh, Natamas uh, Durange Canal. That was me. I was so happy when I, after I um, set the uh, the net, when I grabbed him from the net, that was me holding it. Dude, look at the dorsal fin on this guy. That was like, it was so hard. I was touching this thing. It's pretty much called like the, uh, um, those spikes from those catfish. So yeah, that was me right there holding this fish. This is the uh, spot. Um, so I got two poles. And uh, yeah, it was just, it was basically just me right in this spot right here this morning. The uh, water was quiet, and I can see um, a lot of splash in the water. So I said, okay, well, this is a spot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put drop down my two poles and um, play the waiting game. Um, this is when I'm about to hook that fish. So I picked it up, kind of felt for it, and um, that was it. It started jolting. I mean, I mean, I see that string just start tightening up so i said shoot man i better get myself ready yeah so here is the time when i grab that pole because the line is just start going straight and my barber start like you know start like running so i went ahead and picked this up um unfortunately you know my um action cam ran out of battery so it kind of misses all the action when i was playing around with this with this fish um but that was me basically when i grabbed that pole and it was action pack after that so yeah 
right in the kitchen. Here's the part when I was cleaning it. Try to put some water in it. It's still alive. Can you imagine that? After about good um, 20 minutes of driving, uh, coming back home. Um, but yeah, yeah, look at the beauty of this fish, man. So lovely. I mean, I, I was stoked when, when, when I grabbed this fish, man. Um, so it's about 28 inches and about 14 pounds of muscle. So make sure to always bring yourself uh, one of those action cam. Um, I have one of those um, SD card. I'm using this J5 that I can also um, put them on my iPhone. Once I'm done, I can just switch it over and um, I can switch all transfers all the videos on my iPhone and do my editing after that. And make sure you always have something with you to bring along with you when you go fishing because it's gonna be a lot of waiting time. Um, so you don't wanna get yourself bored. So, you know, um, prepare yourself at all time and um, get fishing. Uh, this is the uh, striped bass that I caught. Just kind of sharing you guys, um, you know, what I've been doing sometimes on my free time. Just go out there in the river and catch some big fish. Here's another striped bass that I caught on the um, river, Sacramento River, over at Freeport Bridge. Um, just sharing you guys what I've been doing on my free time. Here's another one. Here's another striped bass that I caught over at Freeport Bridge. I think this is 24 inches that I caught right here. So um, yeah, I love fishing and um, go out there and fish whenever you guys have some time because um, you know there's a lot of monster fish out there. Yep, largemouth bass that I caught so far. It's about three um, when we went camping over at uh, I believe the place was called American River. I forgot the last part of the um, American River in the Parkway Resort. There you go. So I caught this dude right here. They have a pond back there. So I was flipping my um, my fishing pool. I pulled like night crawlers and I caught one of this beauty. So just sharing this one as well. This is another striped bass that I caught, I think about it two months ago. Um, this is about 22 inches striper over at Freeport Bridge. So yeah, I've been bringing a lot of these stripers pretty much like almost every week. So this is another beauty right here. Um, it's already been grilled up and it's time to uh, grab some more big ones. Here's my daughter Amber is holding one of the uh, 24 inch stripers that I caught. <laughs> Just look at the size of that guy. It's pretty much almost like half of her size. But yeah, that was a monster, man. It's a big fatty one. This is a 24 inch stripe bass right here. I caught about two months ago. Uh, that's me holding it when I just got home fishing. So just bring a trophy, one of the big ones. Just imagine how big this catfish, this is the biggest catfish I caught so far right here. It's about 28 inches. This is humongous. Just look how solid the head on this catfish is. So just sharing also one of the uh, largest catfish I caught so far at Freeport Bridge. So there you have it, people. So those are all the uh, fish that I caught so far. There's a lot more in my library. Again, I mean, my, my phone right now is pretty much filled up with a lot of fish uh, videos and photos. But, you know, it's gonna, um, I, I, I think I'm gonna have enough time to put all of that in one single video. So um, just peace out and enjoy fishing. Just go out there and enjoy your time, you know, and um, catch some big ones.